I recently put out a poll to the YouTube community and the majority of people believe it takes more than $1,000 in order to start your Amazon FBA business. One person even commented saying that they're already $10,000 in and shipping alone costs $1,000. However, if you head over to Instagram, it's a different story. Surprisingly, you'll see that the vast majority of people, nearly 75%, think it costs less than $1,000 to get your FBA business started. Today, I'm gonna put these polls to the test, YouTube versus Instagram, two different audiences, and I'm gonna let you know exactly what it costs to start your Amazon FBA business this year. What's going on guys? Josh with Debt to Dollars here and welcome back to the channel. And so as I mentioned before, today I wanna to focus on breaking down the Amazon FBA startup cost and to explain to you from my experience and my personal opinion, what it takes on average to get your FBA business started this year. But before we get into that, I need to lay out some key assumptions so that this all makes complete sense to you. So first things first, we're gonna be using the private label business model for this scenario. The private label business model is when your product is actually manufactured by one company or a supplier or manufacturer overseas, and it is then sold under your brand name within your current marketplace on Amazon. We're also assuming that we have no experience whatsoever with selling on Amazon and we're just getting started. So in other words, we are as fresh as it gets and we are a beginner seller here on Amazon. Okay, and the first thing that we need to take a look at is your cost of goods sold or your COGS. Now the cost of goods sold is the amount it costs you to actually procure that product from overseas or from wherever your supplier is and get that product to your location and country. Now we're just looking at average cost here. Now you know that on Amazon products range from anywhere from a dollar to you know three, four hundred dollars. It's there's really no range uh, that you can pinpoint on what a product is going to be. So for this example, and using retail statistics, the average product that's sold from an overseas manufacturer and then is going on to be sold on Amazon is around six dollars and seventy-one cents. We need to then decide how many units are we actually going to be procuring to get started to sell on Amazon. You can go ahead and you can order one, five, a hundred, two hundred units if you want, or even more. It's really up to you and what you have set aside in your budget and what you want to get started with. Now, I don't recommend going ahead and ordering a thousand or two thousand units because that is taking on a lot of risk. As a beginner seller, you really want to minimize your risk. And one way to do so is to order a small amount of units, typically the minimum order from your supplier. That way you're not in too deep and you're not taking a huge amount of risk. Because remember, you are going to be paying inventory fees once you ship these to Amazon FBA. And additionally, as a beginner seller, you're not 100% sure yet if they are actually going to sell in your marketplace. For this example, we are going to order 200 units, which is the maximum amount of inventory that you can send to Amazon FBA currently under one shipment plan. Now, if you're just here to put an end to that poll that I put out earlier between Instagram and YouTube, you now know that just with the products, the average amount of products alone, it's going to cost you more than $1,000. But don't worry because we're going to get started with some other things that you need to be a beginner seller on Amazon and to get started. And it's really not that much more expensive beyond this. So the next thing you need to think about is how you're going to get your products from your location to Amazon FBA. And also, how are you going to label them? Now, it's my recommendation to go ahead and purchase a printer, a laser jet printer. That way you can go ahead and print out your labels that you're going to be putting on your products. And you don't have to go ahead and pay Amazon to do that. Now, with that being said, you can pay Amazon to do that, and it's around 30 cents per unit. So that would come out to about $60 if we went ahead and just had Amazon do the labeling for ourselves. Now, if we take a look at how much a laser jet printer is, if you check it out on Amazon, you'll see that it's about $115, $116, and labels are going to cost you around $10. So that puts you at a total of $125.99. So if you're looking at the numbers and you're planning to be an Amazon seller for a while, I do recommend going ahead and getting your own printer, getting your own labels because it's going to pay off in the long term. Next, we need to think about how we are going to get our inventory shipped to Amazon FBA in their fulfillment centers. This is typically around $30 to $50. Um, we are going to be sending 200 units. However, we're assuming that these are lightweight units. So I'm going to budget here about $50 to get those from your location, your house or your business to Amazon FBA fulfillment centers. Okay, and on the topic of labeling, if you're not aware, you do need a UPC or an EAN, some form of GTIN barcode. I know these are a lot of new acronyms if you're just a beginner seller, but basically this is the barcode that goes on the back of uh, packaging, which is required to sell on Amazon. 
Now barcodes, you can purchase them from a third party source. They are pretty un unreliable now, now that Amazon is checking the GS1 database and cross-referencing their database with that. So I do recommend purchasing your barcodes from gs1.org. I'll put a link in the description, but it's about $30 per barcode and you'll need a barcode for each one of your products. In our case, we have one product and we have 200 units of that single product. So we only need to purchase one barcode. All right, moving on to the Amazon and membership fees. Now, when you get started on Amazon, you have the choice of selecting a professional account or an individual account in the US. It's a little bit different in other countries like the United Kingdom. Um, the terminology is just different. It's uh, the professional and the basic plan. But essentially, if you pay $39.99 a month, you get unlimited access to the amount of units that you can sell and you don't have to pay, pay any fees on top of the referral and FBA fees. Now, if you are a seller who you don't think that you're going to be selling more than 40 units, then you want to go ahead and you want to sign up using the individual account because all you're going to have to pay is 99 cents every time a unit is sold. So you're not forced into $39.99 each month. Only when you sell a unit, you're going to pay that 99 cents. The other thing you got to recognize is that with the individual plan, you won't have access to Amazon pay-per-click advertising. So you'll probably be forced to advertise if you want to on social media platforms. However, if you do want to advertise on Amazon, which is the most effective way, then you need that professional plan. Okay, moving on. As I mentioned in the beginning, we are a beginner seller and we have no experience selling on Amazon. Now for people who are just getting started, I highly recommend using some form of a data analytics software to do your product research. Uh, product research is an essential tool of being successful on Amazon. You can't really just go on Alibaba, find a product that you like and assume that it's going to sell in your marketplace because it may not be in demand or there may be way too much competition that it'd be nearly impossible to stand out from the rest of your competitors. So I recommend getting some form of software. Helium 10 or Jungle Scout are great programs. I do prefer Jungle Scout over Helium 10 because I believe it offers more useful features and it's also a little less expensive. So Jungle Scout costs about $69 a month if you do their monthly plan. You can also get discounts if you purchase the, the six month or three month or yearly plans. But as a beginner seller and you're not really sure if you're going to be successful or not, getting started, I do recommend just going ahead with the monthly plan. That's going to cost you $69 for Jungle Scout for that first month. Um, however, I am able to offer you a discount link so you can get 10% to 30% off of that by using my link that's going to be down in the description. And that way we can bring that cost down to $59 per month. Additionally, you can hire me as your own product research expert to find a product for you to sell that's in demand and has low existing competition. Uh, my packages start at $45 and they go the whole way up to $75 for one product. So that may be a cheaper alternative um, if you want to go ahead and do that route. Otherwise, I do recommend getting Jungle Scout and doing that product research yourself. Okay, we're down to the last two things here and I swear we are going to be finishing up and that way you know exactly how much in total it's going to cost you. So the next thing we have to think about are the photos. So we do have to take product photos of our specific product and our specific brand. You can hire or pay your supplier to take these photos for you. However, you'll notice that the quality really isn't there a whole lot. You are able to do this by yourself if you want to. I do have a tutorial that I'll put in the cards right now where you can go ahead, you can learn how to use your cell phone and take high quality professional product images at $0. And I also have some free software in there called GIMP. It's open source software, which will allow you to edit it in more detail and really get that crisp white background that's required. So you have two options. You could hire someone to do it, which I'd estimate to be about $100 per product, and you'd probably get four to six images, or you can spend $0 and you can do it yourself uh, just with your cell phone and learning through one of my tutorials. Okay, and the last thing that we need to take a look at is a trademark. Now, don't leave yet. I know that's a scary term, especially for a beginner seller, but I want to let you know that this is an optional fee. I want to put this information in this video for those who are thinking that they're going to be selling on Amazon in the long term. So the reason why this is an optional fee is because it's not necessarily required if you're reselling a brand that already exists or if you're just going to go ahead and sell a generic product. If you're going to be private labeling your product and you want to establish a brand in your marketplace, then you really need to go ahead and consider this trademark. Applying for a trademark is an extremely lengthy process. It can take anywhere from 8 to 12 months to actually get that registered and active trademark. And then you have to go ahead and register your trademark brand with Amazon brand registry, which also takes a couple more months. Um, and in addition, this is also pretty costly. It costs between $250 to $350. But trust me, for the legal protection that you get, it's definitely worth it in the long term. So now let's take a look at how much this all costs altogether and get a complete idea of how much it's going to cost us to start our FBA business. 
So all in all, we're under $2,000, right about $1,897 in total. Now that is a decent amount of money. However, if you look at it, it's really not for starting an actual business. If you think of uh, most companies when they start their business, they're spending tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars. And just with about $2,000 in savings, you can go ahead and you can start an actual business. So it's really exciting and it doesn't just stop there. Um, with this amount of money, these startup costs, they are also tax deductible up to $5,000 for your first year when you get started. So this $1,897, we could write it off of our taxable income come tax season time and it can really save us in reducing our taxable income. Thanks for watching today, guys. I hope this really gives you a complete idea on what it really costs to start an FBA business. Uh, this is what it would look like for the average person. Again, you can order less units, you could order more units. That's really gonna take the majority of your costs. And so what the last piece of advice I wanna give to you is that it's really up to you. You can get started with as little as you want or as much as you want. There's no secret behind it. There's no science really to it. It's whatever is right for you and right for your business. And then as you progress with sales, as you bring in more revenue each month, you can put that money back into your business and continue growing it until you get to a place where you want it to be. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys all in the next video.